Yes, people, it's Jack Cobb. How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can get a starter team worth over 300k. Because I found a strategy that you can do this without spending a single penny. Yes, I've been able to pack Haaland, Lukaku and Marquinhos and loads of other players who are worth loads. So make sure you stick around, watch the video and hit subscribe to find out how to do this. Yeah, but without further ado, let's get into the first episode of my FIFA 22 Road to Glory. <laughs> Yes, people, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first FIFA 22 content we have on this channel. Firstly, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for the support on the channel. We're on the road to 10 subs, so drop a subscribe because you know that it's free and it's just really simple. But look, you can see this team on the screen, so now let me show you how I got there. What you want to do is you want to head over to the web app before the game drops. Do it as soon as possible. You'll get your free packs here. So this is one of the main things that kind of boosts your initial position. I ended up getting Morales, Hoiberg and Kimpembe. Kimpembe was so important because I was able to just sell him off straight away and get some coins. You also get a lot of players in this which are going to help you to do the squad builder challenges that I'm going to show you. What you need to do, if you're a beginner you won't know this, but you just need to do the basic ones to unlock the advanced ones. But this is the key one. You want to head over to Hybrid Nations and go over to Elite 8. Now my advice is to head over to Footbin where you can see exactly how much it costs. As you can see, you can do this one for around 8,000 to 6,000 coins. So I sold off Kimpembe just to get the coins for that. And then I created the team and claimed my reward and got a 55 grand pack for 6K. It's amazing. And look, to make it even better, I ended up getting Haaland in my first pack. That is so mad. I was absolutely buzzing. The thing is, he's worth so much. He's worth like a hundred and something grand now. Do I cash in on him or not? But I couldn't, I had to put him in my team. And of course, he's going to be playing up front for me. So I'm going to try him out for a bit, get a feel for him. And maybe I'll sell him later on down the road in the road to glory. But at the moment, he's too good to sell. But yeah, there's players like Dumfries, Gozen, who are also going to be really important. But the key is, is just to do all of the hybrid nations ones first. Because then you'll end up getting a rare mega pack, which you see, which is a group reward. And it's really good again. Look, I don't get the best pack, but you've just got to trust the process and open as many as possible. Because then I'll open a rare mega pack and get Lukaku. Like, please, that's amazing. And Wijnaldum, Gundogan, Tellez in the same pack. That's so good for me. Like, i got so many coins off of this and so many players that I can use in my team. As I said, I've got so many coins now and it's just pushing towards the profit. You have to do these SBCs as quickly as possible. Look at the packs you get. So I went on to the Hybrid League and Nation next. These require some loyalty, but all you have to do is check the comments and there'll be some with one loyalty. I'm sure after doing the ones at the beginning, you'll have enough to get those and enough players with loyalty to do it. Look what you get. I got Marquinhos. He's worth 100 grand straight away. And Aubameyang in the same pack who was worth 50k, so that's 150k pack right there, plus Cavani and all the other players who I was able to use or sell on. Then I ended up getting a 50k pack for doing the that specific one, and I got Ulti Abel, Xiao Felix and Lucas Mora, probably totaling up another 20k, that's 170k right there, plus Haaland, 270k, plus Kimpembe, 300k. Look, we're making bank right now, and I really think you guys should be joining in on the action too. So I went and got Carrasco and Can for my team. I then went and sold everything in my club so I could build the starter squad that I wanted to so I can go in and play. 43 grand, which was more than enough to take me home. Get Sancho, Wambasaka and Lodi, Navas as well. So now I've got a really good starter team, probably more than a starter team. I was coming up against some really strong teams, which I didn't expect. I mean, he's got Beckham and Pogba. Also, again, another team that was kind of like a standard Prem team, but it's just not enough for this team that I've created. They are really good. I'm playing Sancho at the cam. Honestly, he is so good in that position. Malin on the right and Carrasco on the left. Those wingers are both really deadly. But you know the star of the show at the moment has been Erling Haaland. His finishing is unreal. But as a conglomerate attack, they play so well. Like, there's just runs that you wouldn't necessarily see, and I'm really enjoying FIFA 22. 
One thing I have noticed, which is mad, is look at the keepers. Like, Kepa, it's Kepa, he's 79 rated. Why is he making saves like that? But it's not enough to beat my team. I want you guys to use this strategy to get a team like mine. Please do. But yeah, I'm going to be grinding out the trial for the next time. I'm on a free win streak right now. I'm going to keep grinding it and get as far as possible and keep you guys updated. This is just episode one of The Road to Glory. So please hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. And here we have another milestone pack, which I am going to open. And look, the luck continues. I end up getting another walkout. Handanovic, 86 rated. Perhaps it's not amazing, but it's good for me. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. A nice short one to keep you guys informed and knowing what you need to be doing to get the best start. Look. This is just the start of the road to glory. There's going to be lots more coming. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. And I've been Jack Wobb. Peace out.